blames the, Sh the Sherman Silver Purchase Act for the problems. And we said that Cleveland is going to respond by re having Congress repeal the Sherman Silver Purchase Act and going on a 100% gold standard. We also mentioned the Pullman strike and Coxey's army as manifestations of, 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 of a dis, you know, disenchantment by the public in the economic conditions of the time. Now, in the Pullman strike in particular, however, um, we said that the government does something with that strike that is a departure. Actually, we didn't say this. You read this. In a what, what happens in this Pullman strike that makes it significant? Besides the magnitude of the strike, you know, the whole railroad uh, workers from across the country walking off the job. We said there was another significant thing. Go ahead, Sarah. Um, the government sends military to stop it. They send in troops, and they use an injunction. They order the workers back to work. Right? Under what piece of legislation? Pardon me? No, no, they use a piece of legislation, yes. Sherman Antitrust Act. They said that the whole thing was a restraint of trade. So the use of an injunction, anytime you see the Pullman strike, you kind of see this discussion of how the government argued, the national government argued that the union was restraining trade, which was a violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act, and so they were justified in sending federal troops in to break the strike and to arrest the leaders of the strike. And this is like a big deal. Okay, this is a big deal. All right, that takes us up to today, and that should be good. Um, the election of today we talked about should be fresh in your mind, and there may be a question about the election of 96. We'll review that a little bit tomorrow. And that was 40 minutes, as promised, and Waze will put this on the YouTube, and you can thank you, Waze, and that's it for today. Is that enough for you? Is that enough for anyone?